Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Elvis Presley. Why me, Lord? Let's see what he has to say. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to ask J.D. Sumner to stay up to sing one of my favorite songs, Why Me, Lord? Um, I think Elvis is going to come in, so I stopped it before I start my fangirling moment and have a sensible moment. <laughs> um, I I don't think I caught the gentleman's name that's singing, but he is in the lowest of the lowest, like, I don't know if that's tenor or bass, but it is deep down in there. I love that um, we just got to get to see, like, Elvis's appreci appreciation <laughs> Uh, for his roots, which I have read now many times. You guys have told me how how influenced he was by the black church in Memphis. And just like hymns, gospel songs, spiritual songs. And I love that. I don't know where this came in a live show. Beginning, middle, or end. I don't know after what song it comes. But he'll take a moment to pay homage to his roots, his inspirations, you know, just the people and the things and the and the music that birthed him, that made him who he was. And there is so much gospel influence in Elvis and the way he sings and the way he moves and the way he delivers. Um, he has those moments on stage where it's like these outer body experiences where if you've ever been to any type of Baptist church, at, at least, um, You've seen people have those experiences where the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost takes them over and they have these like spiritual moments. And I feel like he has those so often on stage. And I think all of that is birthed in being around that. And so I just I think that's, you know, makes me love him even more. All right, let's get to fangirling because y'all know it's coming. <laughs> Lord help me Jesus I loved it I said it three times because I loved it I know what I am. Now That was such a real life verse. If you are a believer in Christ um, and, you know, the, the word that says you can always come back here. I don't no matter what you got going on, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've seen, no matter what you've done, you can always come back and heed the pleading. Lord, help. Lord, help me. Jesus It's such a real thing. If you believe, I believe. And so that's why to me, it's real. If you don't your business, not mine. I love you anyway. <laughs> I love everybody. Um, but yeah, I just think like, wow. And again, for Elvis to like sing this in the middle of one of his shows, it's like it just shows how important it is to him or what it means to him um, on his worst days.
I love that. Needed you so help me. I love when like a word takes on two verses of a song. So help. I like, I love that. Oh, I don't want this to end. It's so good. So help me, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's my first time, I think, hearing him actually say that for real, for real. You know, people say it all the time because Elvis made it like a catchphrase. But yeah, I, my favorite thing, if you haven't guessed it yet, if I didn't say it enough, was Jesus. That, uh, my soul's in your head. So nice. Oh, my gosh. All right. I didn't fangirl as much because this was a, a Jesus song. <laughs> uh, but I did love it. It was so good. Oh, man. He could literally sing about rocks and cow manure and I'm fangirl. I don't care. It's all good. Anyway, go have the day you deserve. Peace.